Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're having a good January. Uh, a couple things before we start this video. Uh, first of all, I've got a bit of a cold, so pardon me sniffling what not. And secondly, I'm trying out mm, a different um, editing software. So things could look slightly different. And uh, I want to know your opinion. If you don't like it, let me know. Alright, so what we're going to do today is we are going to control a servo. This is just a standard um, micro servo using our ESP32 and a regular old uh, potentiometer. There is really not much to this. It's pretty simple. So I'm going to zoom in here and we're going to go over the wiring for this which is really simple. Okay, so 5 volt is going to our 5 volt rail ground to the ground rail. The wiper pin from our potentiometer, which is the center pin, is going to pin 32. Our potentiometer also goes to ground and to the 5 volt rail. Now our servo has three wires. The brown is ground, the red is our 5 volt, and the orange is our signal. In this case, the orange is going to pin 5. Uh, the red goes to 5 volt, and the brown goes to the ground. So as you can see there is not much there to deal with and the way this should all work when we put it together is by turning the potentiometer we can vary the position of the servo. I know you're not saying that's well, there's not really much going on there in this video but this is a good basis for learning how to control a servo and then we can in further videos substitute this potentiometer for various sensors so that the servo can react to different environmental conditions. Alright, let's go take a look at the code. It's really simple. Okay, let's take a quick look at our code here. We're going to start off by telling the ESP32 what pin we want for our analog read. So we're using the define command and we're saying it is analog pin 0 and we're telling it to be on GPIO 32. Then we're setting our initial value for that analog read or that analog value to be 0. You can set your initial value anything you want, but I'm just setting it at 0. Next, we need to define what pin our servo is attached to and in this case we're calling it servo underscore pin and it is on GPIO 5. Now, when we get to these micro servos, they operate at 50 hertz. So when we do our LEDC setup, we need to uh, set the frequency, the channel, the resolution. We need to set it at 50 hertz. We can set it at other frequencies, but it's not going to work with the micro servo. It'll work for other things like LEDs or if you're trying to output some sound. But for this, we need it to be at 50 hertz. Then we need to tell it what channel we're using, because remember we have high speed channels and low speed channels. In this case, we're using channel zero. And what resolution we want to use in bits, so it knows what type of math to apply to our, our calculations. We're using eight bits. And then we need to tell it um, the duty cycle. In this case, we're going to use duty cycle 21, which works out to be about the 90 degree or the halfway point in the servo. Um, you can play around with that. Your servo could possibly be a little different. Things can change. Somewhere in the 10 at the low end to 35 at the high end seems to work okay for me. But uh, like I said, a different servo, um, different ESP32 module, even if you're in the UK or somewhere that has 50 hertz household frequency, it might make a difference. So play around with those numbers to see what works for you. Next in our setup, we're starting our serial comms at 115.200. Then we're going to wait a second so the serial monitor can be set up. We're going to print out a nice little hello there. And then we're going to begin our LEDC setup. Remember, the ESP32 doesn't have an analog write, so we need to use this LEDC command. So LEDC setup, we're going to tell it what channel, what frequency, and what resolution. And then we're going to attach a pin. We're going to tell it what pin we want that LEDC um, function to work on. So LEDC attach pin, 
servo pin. In this case, remember, we set it up to five and channel zero. You could easily just put those numbers in there. Then we're going to set our servo to about the halfway position. So LEDC right, what channel? We're doing channel zero. And duty cycle, which if you remember right here, we set at 21, which is just about halfway. So now everything is set up and we can go in here and do our loop. We're going to start by setting analog value to an analog read of analog pin zero, which if you remember up here, we're telling it that is GPIO 32. Remember on the ESP32, all these different pins are assignable, all the different ADCs. You can tell it where to go, what to be. It's very flexible. So just be specific in where you're setting things up. So anyway, our analog value is equal to the analog read of analog pin zero. Then we'll print out some stuff. We'll do duty cycle equals a map of our analog value, which we just read here from analog pin zero. And it is going to be from zero to 4095 because it is a much higher resolution than your standard Arduino, which is 0 to 1023. And we're going to map it between 10 and 33. And those are those numbers I told you about for the low-end travel of the servo and the high-end travel of the servo. Play around with them, make them fit your needs. Finally, we're going to write LEDC write to what channel. We're using channel 0 in our duty cycle, which we just calculated here. And then a pause. That's it. Now we can control the servo using that analog pot. So let's go check it out. All right, we've uploaded the code and we'll plug everything in. You can see our servo twitched a little bit and went to its center point. And now if I turn this, you can see the servo reacts. There's a little bit of jumpiness in there because everything is not clean. And you know my motto is there is no such thing as a clean signal. So it will react to very small changes. You can make very minute movements and control the servo very precisely. Or you can make large sweeping movements. It's... I mean, it's a one-for-one one movement here. I mean, not really. It's a eight-to-one, but you get the idea. Anyway, that's it. It's that simple to control a servo with a pot using that LEDC command, which is, for now, the only um, analog write command we have for the ESP32. So I hope the guys over at Expressif are, are, are getting ready to release a... Uh, Arduino package, Arduino IDE package for the ESP32 so that we will have our familiar commands ready. Anyway, that's it for today. If you guys enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Hey, knock that off. There. That's it. I'm out. Peace.